This is experiment 10 of grade 10 chemistry. The aim of this experiment is to compare the conductivity of pure substances and their solutions. The apparatus that you are going to need are the following. Glass beakers, a 6 volt power source or four 1.5 volt cells, a light bulb, two carbon electrodes, connecting wires, sodium chloride, hydrochloric acid, ethanol, sodium hydroxide, sugar, distilled water and tap water. The method is as follows. Set up the circuit with four cells in series, an ammeter, a light bulb and two carbon rod electrodes. Complete the rest of the circuit. Let the two rods touch to test whether a current flows through the circuit. When the light bulb glows, it confirms that a current is moving through the circuit. Start by first testing the conductivity of solids. Place enough dry sodium chloride in a watch glass and sugar in another watch glass. Place the electrodes in the sodium chloride while ensuring that the electrodes only touch the dry crystals and not the bottom of the watch glass. Observe what happens. No current is flowing. Place the electrodes in the sugar while ensuring that the electrodes only touch the dry crystals and not the bottom of the watch glass. Observe what happens. No current is flowing. Now test the conductivity of liquids. Place the electrodes in distilled water and observe what happens. No current is flowing. Place the electrodes in tap water. The ammeter indicates that a current is flowing. The light bulb doesn't glow because the current is very small. Disconnect the apparatus after every test and rinse the electrodes off with distilled water. Dry the electrodes with a paper towel. Add some sodium chloride to distilled water and stir the solution until it's mixed properly. Place the electrodes in the sodium chloride solution. The light bulb shines bright and the ammeter shows that a current is flowing. Rinse the electrodes and place it in distilled water. Add some hydrochloric acid and observe what happens. The ammeter indicates that a current is flowing. Add some more hydrochloric acid and observe what happens. The ammeter shows that the current is flowing stronger and the light bulb shines bright. Rinse the electrodes and place it in distilled water. This time add some ethanol and observe what happens. The ammeter indicates that no current is flowing. Clean the electrodes. Add some sodium hydroxide to distilled water and stir until it dissolves completely. Place the electrodes in the solution and observe what happens. The ammeter shows that the current is flowing. Add some more sodium hydroxide and stir again until it dissolves. The current flows stronger and the light bulb shines brighter. Rinse the electrodes. Add some sugar to the distilled water and stir it until it dissolves completely. Place the electrodes in the solution and observe what happens. The ammeter shows that no current is flowing. Complete the table by indicating whether the conductivity was excellent, good, reasonable or weak. Also indicate if no current was flowing. The solutions of sodium chloride, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide excellently conducted current. The tap water conducted it reasonably while distilled water had a weak conductivity. The pure sodium chloride, sugar and ethanol as well as the solutions of sugar and ethanol 
did not conduct any current. The conclusion is, the only type of solids that conduct an electrical current are metals and graphite. Ionic solids and molecular solids do not conduct electrical currents. Ionic substances do not conduct a current in the solid state. The ions are firmly bound in the crystal lattice and cannot move freely. In order to conduct a current, the ions must be able to move.